Right now at 5.30, a major find today at the former home of Pablo Escobar. A second hidden safe was unearthed. The drug lord was known to have hidden piles of money and drugs at his various homes around the world. The homeowners who are renovating the property on Miami Beach, they're filming the demolition for a documentary. Local 10's Carlos Suarez live with more on what's being found. Victor and Janine, the safe was removed from the home and taken to another location about an hour ago. It's there that we're told someone will open that safe. Now, a construction worker came across it after he demolished the last wall of the home just beyond the rubble there. Now, it's unclear whether the safe belonged to Escobar or his cartel. That, of course, is still very much a mystery. The discovery of another safe is the latest chapter in the story of a home that once belonged to Paulo Escobar. Construction crews found it Monday after knocking down one of the remaining walls of the waterfront mansion. Miguel Mato snapped a selfie after making the mysterious find. Wall fell, broke the floor, and I saw I saw something gray. And I told him, look, there's a safe. And he's like, no, you're messing with me. I'm like, hey, look, there's a safe. He's like, grab it. I grabbed it and I pulled it out. He said whatever is inside of the safe is heavy and big enough that when he tipped it over, he could hear something inside. Because this house has like a like a like a raised floor throughout the whole house. Usually these houses here in the in the beach are like that. The property, which sits on North Bay Road, is believed to have been used by the Medellin cartel to funnel drugs into the U.S. in the 1980s. The owners of the property demoed the house last week, 29 years after the government seized it. A lot of people have asked me, why don't you keep the house? and make it into a museum and all this. I don't think we want to celebrate the criminals. Escobar bought the home for $762,500, although a paper deed shows he paid just 10 bucks for it. A bag believed to be cocaine was also found at the home last week. We still got the, the pool, the pool, which I think um, if he was really going to hide something good, it would hide it under the pool. And that construction worker told me that the pool is set to be taken out at some point later this week. Now, the possibility does exist that the safe could belong to a previous owner who lived at the house for several years. That house was then sold, and then the current owners, they've demolished the place and plan on building a new home. They're, of course, also shooting a documentary about the series. We're live at this hour in Miami Beach. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.